I used to think A was my best friend. I trusted her with everything and thought we'd be friends forever. When we were in university, I started asking her for advice about the guy I liked, Beacon. However, before I knew it, the two of them had fallen in love with each other. Talking about him together, I started to get curious about him and started having feelings for him. When she came to apologize to me, I figured he chose her over me. I couldn't be helped. I accepted their relationship, and though it was hard, I congratulated her. We stayed friends, but we were no longer best friends. Then, about half a year after we graduated, I got a call from A. I might be pregnant. She had called me for guidance. Does Biko know? When I asked her this, she said, "I spoke with him about it, but he wouldn't give me a clear answer. You need to be sure." Go to the hospital and get checked out. After giving her advice, I never heard back from her again. Though to be honest, around that time I was busy with job training, so I had a little time to be concerned with her pregnancy. I tried emailing A to tell her about my job and ask about what happened, but she never replied. Given her personality, she would likely tell me if she wasn't pregnant. If she got married because of the pregnancy, she would also probably tell me. The fact that she doesn't say anything means, after that, I heard nothing and got caught up in preparing to move, so I just let it go and forgot about it. However, a few years later, at a friend's wedding reception, I found out that A had gotten married. There were many friends that we went to university with that reception. I was hoping to see you there. It's a shame you couldn't make it. But in fact, I hadn't even been invited. The crazy things was though. Her husband wasn't Pekin, and she had already had a child. I figured it must be the child from the pregnancy she told me about. According to our mutual friend, the wedding invitations were sent out spurred of the moment, and she did nothing to hide the fact that she was pregnant at the wedding. The groom was apparently an older guy from Ace Workplace, and it seems to the two of them both fell in love at the first sight. Therefore, according to our friends, I think she left Pekin while it was. In between jobs, apparently that's what happened anyway. Still, I knew she was with Pekin at that time, and she would have told me about it if it wasn't Pekin's child. It was hard to believe that she was too timing him back then. Regardless, I haven't talked to her for ages, so it's probably best I don't get involved. I thought. A few years later, I myself got married because of my husband's job. We moved back to the city, and I was able to meet up with one of my friends from university more often. Then they told me, "You were best friend with A, weren't you? Did you know everything about what happened?" When she asked me, I thought, "Perhaps she's talking about the pregnancy," but I wasn't really sure that she was referring to. Hmm. Actually, we were good friends until close graduation, but after that, we've barely met. I explained. According to my friend, her husband had divorced her after he found out the child wasn't his. After that, things started to get heated as she tried to get B to pay child support after finding out that child was his. As excuse to B, this is because you wouldn't marry me even though I was pregnant. Then B's reasoning, I hadn't even decided when it was going to work, so marriage wasn't even on the table, much less me being a father. After not hearing from you for a while. I figured you aborted the thing, but now you come and say I'm the father. At the time, B was apparently about to get married, so it was the worst possibly time for him. I imagine A didn't know whose child it was at the time. She bet it all on the older coworker, and it turned out to be wrong. After hearing that story, I thought, I'm glad Beacon didn't choose me in the end. That's how things ended. What A did was pretty bad itself. But to think Beacon was the type of the guy to shun his child rearing responsibility like that, I guess you could say that they got what they deserved. My husband may be pretty average, but there's no doubting his loyalty to me. Hearing about those stupid things my friends went through has helped me appreciate the simple married life I have now.